Hello, teacher. How are Hello. you? I'm sorry. I was, I was with my previous class, and at the end of the class, they started asking me all the questions. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm fine. Maybe a uh, rain here tonight because the sky is very hard. It's very Maybe what? Very, very dark, very strong. Mm. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. No, I understand what you're trying to say. Very good. Um, what you say <laughs> is like, the sky is very cloudy. Cloudy. Mm -hmm. Or very gray. Very gray, because before it starts to rain, the sky is, is not black. It's actually... The expression is you say gray. <laughs> because it's the night too. <laughs> yeah, so in this it's case, nice. yeah, in this case, you can say it seems like it's going to rain because it's windy. windy. It's windy or you hear thunders. Cloudy. It's very yeah. cloudy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Leah, you told me that you're a journalist, correct? Yes, I am uh, a journalist. But what do you do? Uh, I know you're, that you're an independent journalist, but like, do you yes. interview people, politicians, or what? Yes, um, I practice uh, the, the journals in all time ago. Okay. When I, when I was uh, in my career, my profession, mm -hmm. but I developed me in institutional communication with a peer, peer, Relaciones Públicas, yeah. mm -hmm. in the many uh, organization, uh, guber governmentales, government, governmental, governmental and private. Oh, okay. Um, I was, uh, I was and work Mm -hmm. Working or inicia trabajar. Eh, I started working. Working when I was very young. I was a middle. Uh, I was in initial the career, iniciando la carrera, initial career. I was starting my career. Starting my career. Mm -hmm. eh, when I when I start working. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Many years ago. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I imagine I imagine you have many interesting yes. stories. Yes, very interesting stories. Very oh. interesting. My career is very exciting. I yes. I was loc, uh, locutora locut, locutora. A DJ. No, no DJ. I you was, was in the radio. Yes, I working in the radio. When yeah. when I when I in listened, what radio you were? I working in the university radio, and I working in the X in uh, Pulsar X. radio, Pulsar radio, many years ago. And what uh, did you do? I was locutor, locutora. Oh, you were so locutor. you were what a broadcaster? Yeah, what broadcaster. Locutora. Broadcaster. Okay, broadcaster. Bro broadcaster. Yes. Broadcaster. Something new. <laughs> and I and I developed me too with well with a, a maestro de ceremonias. MC. MC. Uh huh. MC. Ah, with pausa, a, pausa. MC. Por eso que casi todos los raperos se llaman así, como like MC, MC? Hammer, MC the MC. Yeah, nice master of ceremony. Topic. Okay, master of ceremony, but many years ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, very interesting. When I listen to Camila, when I listen to Camila, I remember my my best years. <laughs> wow, well, maybe in maybe the, in the radio. Maybe hey, you need to you need to hear me. I don't know. <laughs> it's something new to me, but I think that I'm I'm going to to be better every day. Yeah, maybe okay, maybe someday. Exciting. Maybe you two can chat someday and, and maybe you can give her good advice. Yeah. But my especially uh, is- Speciality. Uh, 
Abilities is a news. Read the news. And hey, speak, 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 speak. Right now you're like in PR or no? I don't know. What do you do in I'm this moment? Public relations or not? I freelance. I, I am assessor. Assessor? Assessor? How do you say assessor? Assessor and many companies. Grupo Agrizal. Mm, uh, candidatos a pol politics. Politics. Um, many people. No, oh, okay. That, that's... But when you're a freelance, what do you do? For example, you go and you interview somebody. And that interview, you sell it to the newspapers or? Yes. But my, my work is uh, speak with a, a client, clientes, client? Clients. Mm -hmm. Client and uh, say, and I say, you need a, uh, are better in your work if you um, speak more with uh, the public. Uh, you need. Um, oh, okay. You need are more with uh, uh, developed with a uh, with a uh, with a medio de comunicación con with the media. With the media, um, with a uh, journalist, with a. Uh, oh, okay. This. Yeah, that's okay. I see. I see what you do is like, uh, let's say an example, you work with, uh, with a politician and you tell him, hey, look, Mr. Politician, you need to smile yes. more. You need yes, to. Yes, exactly. You need and what to. Did you, what did you study at university? I study in the uh, El University El Salvador, Universidad El Salvador, and I graduated many years ago. <laughs> no, but what did you study? What, right, Camila? Yeah. Where do you study, Camila? No, what did you study? Salud? Did you study? Public relations, right? What uh, did you, you study uh, in the university? Leah. Yeah. <laughs> Me? Ah, este, periodismo, eh, journalist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but right now you are like a PR, a public relations. Yes, public relations. Wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I That's want cool. to have the opportunity to work as a PR because I'm I'm studying that. But um, yeah, I I, I saw um, in the like the coloco or something like that. But yeah, they don't have like works like as as a PR. So I I I want to to have the the opportunity to practice my the thing that I'm going to be there. You know what, you know what I recommend you, Camila? Why don't you become a YouTuber? Really? <laughs> that's, that's like the new, really, that's like the new, the new, um, what, what I think the problem is, personally, I think the problem is like, for example, politicians, they don't understand how important the media is. Mm -hmm. They don't understand. And, and the social media is the is the boom right now. Yes, and, the social media. And yeah, let me give an example. Look at our president. He is very f famous because of the social media. Yes. But like, like, look, I'll give you an example. Do you remember uh, Barack Obama? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Barack Obama mm -hmm. did something very good. I think he was the first politician that started that effect. Like, and mm -hmm. I, and yes or no, Leah, that's, that, those were his assessors. You saw Barack Obama in a Laker game, drinking beer, you know, like you saw Barack Obama dancing breakdance and, you know, people say like, mm -hmm. wow, he is normal. <laughs> but no, that's, that's propaganda and <laughs> that's marketing. Barack Obama, Barack Obama eh, was a, it was a best example for the good Media. president. Uh, yes, eh, he made a good, ima good um, image, 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 image. image. He had a image. good image about because the people love, love him, love him. 
Love him. Love him. Love him. So, yeah, you should do that here, like Camila. Maybe be, become a, open your YouTube channel. Yeah. I, I, I think I, I want to do that, but like, it's like a dream because I think that nobody will see me <laughs> and I don't, don't know what know. thing that I, I watch. Do. I watch Luisito. <laughs> Luisito Comunica. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't, I uh, look, honestly, I don't think he is good, but he has the, he has a good idea of, of, you know, what he does. But I don't. I don't the think topics you, that he, yeah. he 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 talk. Yeah, but I don't think he has. I I think he needs, he needs to study public relations or something because when he interviews, the questions he asks are not very good, but he has very interesting topics, you know. So you do that. Yeah. <laughs> like soon. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's a good idea. What about the rest of the class? Hip hop underground. Who likes hip hop? Me. Yeah. Who's your favorite? Excuse hip -hop? me. Your question. Um, I love the hip hop under the underground hip hop. I mean, what, what, Cypress Hill. Oh, okay, Cypress Hill. Cypress Hill, Eminem, Tupac, ECE. I love the music oh. of the. Of the yeah. Classic hip hop. Yeah. I. 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 Um. I. I don't like that music. I, I am a rock fan, but but I do like Easy E. I like Ice Cube. Yeah. I like that old. Um, I do I like, like uh, Monsters, Monsters and Harmony too. Yeah, they're good. All right. Do you do you sing or anything? Nah. Uh, you know who I like? I don't know if you heard of him. Do you know Machine Gun Kelly? He's good. Excuse me. Yeah, Do you know sure. Ma Machine Gun Kelly? No, I, I don't know. You never heard of Machine Gun Kelly? No, never. Oh, I recommend you. He he hates Eminem. They they're they're enemies. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised because if you like Eminem, I mean, if you like hip hop, I mean, I don't like hip hop, and I know the story. But yeah, watching YouTube. Remember Eminem here. Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly, okay. Yeah, the I thing is that he's white. He's a white rapper, and he was a big fan of Eminem. And Eminem, like, this time and this and that. So, um, but he's actually good. I think Eminem had a, a song, Rap Rap God, or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. So Machine Gun, he made Rap Devil. And everything he says is he's talking bad about Eminem. Check it out tonight. It's interesting. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, it's good. Luis Molina, how are you, sir? Hi, sir. I have Hi. a qu I have a question, Luis. Where are you in your house? Where are you? Yeah, in my house. It is my office. Sorry. Oh, yeah, so you're in your office. Yeah, because yeah, I always see. Yeah. I always see like dark. You know. Yeah, yes, but only behind me. They are dark, but oh. they turn turn around. The light appear all right. <laughs> but, oh, okay. uh, uh huh. Uh huh. But yeah, this is my office. This is my. I I hear. I work at, at my home. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, hey, I'm sorry, I forgot. What is it that you do, Luis? You you told us. Uh, I I am working with a social program. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, human resource too. That is so cool. That's very. Uh -huh. That's very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, class. Do you remember what we did yesterday? We were talking about um. Phrasal verbs. Phrasal, phrasal verbs. Verb. Yes. Phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs. What is a yeah. phrasal verb? Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, a verb plus a particle. Yeah, a verb and a particle or a verb and a preposition. Yes. How many okay. phrasal verbs exist? A lot. A lot. I don't know. I don't know how much. Yeah. It's, it's, it's. 
they they are forever i mean they they have no <laughs> and every day there will exist more more and more <clears throat> but the important thing when 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 you don't understand and you see and you see like ¿Qué, qué es eso? Porque dice call off. Call back. Yeah. Huh? So if if you see that it's you don't understand, but you actually see that you it's a verb and a preposition, then you say ah, there is a non phrasal verb. So in that case, what I what I recommend you is to look maybe in Google what the meaning is, because remember what I told you yesterday. Um, yeah, maybe the verb is call, it may be off, but when they're together, it's a totally different meaning. Okay, so that's uh, yeah, that's one of the main things about the phrasal verbs. Do you um, do you have any questions about the phrasal verbs? I, yeah. This, for me, the phrasal verbs are are, are are difficult, right? And to understand all. Yes, uh, and I, uh -huh. and you will never understand them all because because it's like what I told you. Um, it's yeah. it's like what I told you. It's very difficult because there's so many so many phrasal verbs that. Sometimes you won't understand, but what you do need to understand is the concept of a phrasal verb. And the phrasal verb is, like I said, uh, two two prepositions together. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, a verb and a preposition together. Okay. Okay. I'm opening here. Hold on. I'm teacher. Yes. Uh, today I was looking for more phrasal verbs and I found uh, 150 phrasal verbs and um, can I share the website with my with the classmate on the chat sure yeah or you can share oh, the okay. screen yeah you want to share in the screen uh, yeah, I can, but you can uh, look that website on your cell phone or in the internet if you want. I'm going to, to share my screen also. And right now I'll send you the website. Okay. <clears throat> This is the website, and here are 150 phrasal verbs with examples and the meaning. Okay, let me see. Hold on. For example, teacher, uh, I can use get on a get in. Get on for bus, I get in for cars. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I was looking at this, and this is pretty what much what. Different? Yeah, I will explain right now. I just wanted to see if we were the same ones that we had. If you look in the chat, I just send you some more, um, some more phrase verbs. But let's do this right now. Can you scroll up to the first one, please? Okay. Thank you. Okay, get on. The bus was full. We couldn't get on. Um, the autobus is Oh, it's in Spanish too. No, uh, I'm train and plane. Okay. Actually, do you know the difference between on and in, Luis? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. What is the difference between on and in? Uh, but our preposition on is solar, right? And in, dentro. But uh, 
this is the the confusion because I use get on maybe I I use the bus but not inside not on the bus. Right? Okay, yeah. actually, actually, if you if you think if you stop and analyze in a bus, mm -hmm. you can get on and in. The two are correct. Uh -huh. So okay. in this case, you can say get on the bus or get in the bus. But mm -hmm. for example, if if I am in a motorcycle, what uh -huh. can I say get on or get in? Get on. Get on because I can't say get in, right? Yeah. Go. You can't get uh -huh. in a motorcycle. So um, mm -hmm. that's that's the your, uh, to answer your question, get on or get in is pretty much the same if it's possible in that situation. Okay. Like in a mm -hmm. bus, in a bus you can get on or get in. Okay. 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 But there are things that you can only get on or there are things that you can only get in. Okay, so then this is a very common verb, get on. Okay. Yeah, do you have any questions? Our class, do you have any questions I with have, get on? I have one question, yes. I don't know. Uh, you you say that if it's like a motorcycle or something like that, it's mm -hmm. get in the motorcycle, no. motorcycle or or no? It, no, it, it would be only get on only. Get in, it's the same, but we we need to use uh, we didn't use in in everything. Yes, because in comes from inside. You have to be inside of something. Something is closed and you are inside, like your house. You know, okay. like, I, you know, your house, hey, it's raining, you get need to in. Get in, okay. But like, for and example, I, a motorcycle uh -huh. is, is in the open. So if I'm, if I'm hey, come on, let's go, get on. Mm. Yeah. But if I'm driving a I bus, another... Yeah, sure. I'm sorry. So a bus, in a bus, in this situation, you can actually get in a bus because you get inside and you can get on a bus because you're on it. In this case, it's correct. Both. Okay. In, it's for inside something that you, it's, it's over you or something yes. like that. I'm yes, not. yes. Okay, in, I in have another time. question. Sure, go ahead. And we can separate the 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 the, the, the article or the the thing that you said before. <laughs> I don't the remember what it is. Yeah, the, the preposition with the with the the other word. Yes. Yes. It, yes, you can, can do it in every in in, in every phrasal verb or you, in every specific. phrasal verb in every phrasal verb but you know what i really recommend you to don't do it yet don't do it yet until you feel comfortable let me give you an example let me give you an example what is the difference between vos tu y usted in spanish What? So politic, politic is a education, is a cortes, courtesy. Courtesy? When do you say tú? When do you say vos or when do you say usted? I say vos when I when I have the conf, the con, confianza. Trust. When I have the trust with another people. And then usted with the people that I don't know. And do. I don't know who is. <laughs> or education. Education. Mm -hmm. And do. Lisa. Uh, or education. Cortesy <laughs> normal. <laughs> Cortesy normal. Lisa. Lisa cum. Lisa. Is someone you know, but is more education. Okay. Good. This is this is one of the most common questions made by people that don't speak Spanish. And it's very difficult to explain because they always say, uh, why in Mexico people say to 
and El Salvador both uh, knows Ted and why. And you know, everyone tells them the difference. O sea, mira, vos es como, hey, ¿qué onda vos? And, and tú es, ¿qué onda y, y, y tu mamá? Y ustedes, like, you know, and people just start saying examples. And then you tell them, do you understand? Y ellos again, like, uh, okay. You know, you, you know what I tell them? I tell them, don't say tú ni vos. Always say usted. Yeah. Why? Because usted is the universal. Anywhere in the world, people will understand usted. And it's the formal version. I mean, it's the formal way of speaking. When you feel comfortable and when you're in a country enough time, like when you're in El Salvador, you know that if you say usted, you can say usted to a little kid to somebody your age and to an old person. You can always say usted and there's no problem. Later, you will understand, oh, vos, okay, now I understand. Because vos y tú is the same thing. It's just some countries say it different. Some countries say vos and some countries say tú. But that, that's informal English, informal Spanish. But the formal way of saying it is always usted. So when you are learning a new language, like in this case, English, um, I think Amila asked me, so you can separate and, and do this and that? Yes, you can. But I recommend you always, like for example, if you're learning phrasal verbs, say it the formal way, get on, drive off, come back. When you get more and more experience, then you will understand like, oh, okay, so this is how you can say it differently. I say that be because when I was in the, in the school, uh, we saw the phrase verbs. Yes. And yeah, that, that was a really difficult because they, they put like all like of the- all the examples, uh -huh. No, all of the topics and like, we're like in shuffle, yeah. So, so then we need to 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 know like uh, if if it it was a phrasal verb or not, and yeah. then I say like, when you separate that thing, you it's difficult to understand if it is um, uh, a phrasal verb or yes not. because uh -huh. yeah because some and some books tell you like call off you can say call off the party call the party off. Or the you know, and they tell you all the different ways you can say it. But, but in um, English, it, with with a native speaker, uh, yeah, if we want to 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 go to United States or another place to they speak English, um, how they they are normally to say the phrasal verbs uh, like together or separate. Or it depends. It depends. It it, it, it depends. It depends what uh, if you're talking maybe with white people, with black people, with um, like. Let me give an example. Have you heard uh, like? Have you ever heard Dominicans, Venezuelans, Puerto Ricans speak Spanish? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm really sorry, no quiero sonar aquí racista o algo, but they speak terrible Spanish. Yeah, horrible. Yes, and, and the problem is that they speak very, very informal. No, not, not those, but you know, like, Puerto Rico, palala. like, I'm sorry, it's not an L, it's an <laughs> R. <laughs> uh, when he speaks the English, is the same. Yeah, um, so, uh, that's your question, Camila. It depends who you speak with, because remember, United States, there's so many races. I mean, there, you have Asian people, you have Latinos, you have different Latinos, you have different types of white people, and they all speak differently. What I do recommend you, what I do recommend you is tell them, uh, excuse me, my English is basic. 
or excuse me, my English is intermediate. And then they will, like you, um, if you see, uh, imagine, imagine you're in the supermarket and a gringo comes to you and the gringo tells you, Disculpe, donde esta la cerveza? Because you, you heard his fluency, you will speak fluent to him. Oh, la cerveza está allá en el pasillo nueve. But if this gringo tells you, um, donde um, esta cerveza? You listen to him speak, and I promise that you will speak en el pasillo nueve. <laughs> you know, you, you will try to help him when you speak. So if, like, in conclusion, if you go to the United States and somebody's speaking very fast to you, just be honest and say, excuse me, my English is basic. And then, you know, they will, they will help you. Oh, you know, they will speak slower. Okay. Camila? Yeah, okay. Yeah. But it, so in conclusion right now, I recommend you just to say the uh, phrasal verbs, how, the, how you see them, drive in. Uh, I'm sorry, can you go to number two again, please? Sophia. So we are in, okay, so we understand get on. Drive off, what is drive off? It says, look, a woman got into the car and drove off. Um, drive off is that like so for someone less place? Yeah, you drove off. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you one story. One time, a long, 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 long time ago, uh, I went on a date with this girl. It was a date, and and this girl, she had a bad relation with her ex boyfriend. And this girl, she was toxic, man. So the complete date, she was talking to me about her ex-boyfriend. And I was like, oh, God. Okay, okay. <laughs> and, yeah, and, her, and that was the complete date. She was talking about, and her boyfriend always called her, her ex-boyfriend. And then this lady, this woman, she started crying. And I said, oh, no. And I said, excuse me, I need to go to the bathroom. Yeah, okay. I went, I got in my car, and I drove off. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a true story. And that's the example of drive off. Do you understand when to use that example, drive off? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, and I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, but in that case, in that time, there was no Facebook or WhatsApp. There was only uh, cell phones only, but, you know, I said, oh, okay. Beeper. Yeah, but she had her car too, though, so that, that, that was something good. That's why I drove off, because I know that she had her car. But, man... She was, oh, and he did this to me. Oh, but I, I think I love him. Oh, and I'm like, okay, oh, God, man. You know, and 30, 40 minutes later, I was, oh, God. And when she wasn't talking, she was texting him. And I said, okay, look, I'm going to the bathroom. No, I drove off. So uncomfortable, like, um, space. I don't know. It's so yeah. toxic because you were with her and she was thinking about him and talking to him and you were like, okay. Yeah, yeah. the problem is I didn't know. <laughs> so I, I imagine she maybe had broke up with her boyfriend like three days ago. I don't know. Because from what she was telling me, it was very recent and... It was very uncomfortable, <laughs> but I remember that it was funny. <laughs> I, I drove off, I just left. Maybe today, today you can't do that because they immediately call you or Facebook you or WhatsApp you, hey, where are you? 
me dejaste, yo oh, bastardo, I hate you. <laughs> and she and, and she she phoned you. She sent she me a message. You. I remember she sent me a message. And she told me, I can't believe you left me there. Nobody has done that to me. Blah 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 blah. I you didn't were like, answer. Sorry. <laughs> No, I didn't answer her. That was a talk. That was going to be a toxic relation. <laughs> so, I drove off. Have you? Can you give me an example of drive of uh, drive off? I don't. I I drive off my job when they finish the day. Okay, no, in this case, you say, when I finish my day, I get in my car and I drive off. Mm. But I, only I can use drive off with a car. Yes, yes, because oh. you had the verb drive. Okay, uh -huh. smart MB, okay, okay. But listen, in this case, drive off also is like a little bit of escaping. Ah, okay. Yeah, so mm -hmm. when you're saying I drive off, it's like, don't stop me, man. I'm off. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, like when you work in the office, you know, it's like, oh, oh yeah, ya casi son las cuatro. It's four, you immediately, you go to your car and you drive off. Because yeah, I, if your I, boss I, calls you, oh, boss, pero ya estoy like a dos cuadras de mi casa. Oh, okay. Pensé que están en la oficina. No, man. <laughs> I I drive off my I draw I drive off because I saw the police. Right? That yeah, is correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. One time I hit a dog. <laughs> and I drove <laughs> off. <laughs> An example. I don't like this work. I need drive off. No. Uh, in this case, you need. Uh, it's related to a car. In, in this okay. case, it's really related to a car. Okay, my car is, is, uh, how do you say arruinado? No sirve. It's broken. It's broken. My car is broken. I need to drive off. Broken up. But if your car is broken, how can you drive? Mm-hmm. Let me give you let me give you an example. One time I was in a red light and this motorcycle was next to me and it looked very very suspicious because they were looking at me, two people on the motorcycle. And the light was in red, I didn't care, I drove off. Did you understand that example? And it's true, it really happened to me once. It was at night. You know, I was like, why is this motorcycle next to me? Because there was no cars behind me or anything. They were like next to me. I don't know, maybe maybe it was me or not, but I, I drove off. I, I didn't want to take the risk. <laughs> okay, next we have come back. That's very easy, right? You understand come back? Yeah. Sally's reading. She's coming back tomorrow. Come back, back. Baby, come back. Oh, baby, okay. Come back. Yeah. Next, we have turn around. Turn round. Yeah, what is turn around? When I talk, when I talking about, please turn around. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you. Turn around. Yes. What? Yeah. Look at what me when I'm talking. What do you want? You know, uh, I'll, I'll, let me give you another example with turn. Okay, you turn around. Um. En El Salvador, y esto sí ya lo he comprobado, gente, que creo que nosotros somos los peores para dar direcciones. Yeah, porque yo tengo familia mexicana 
y donde trabajo hay bastantes extranjeros y, y sí, los salvadoreños somos muy malos para las direcciones. La calle puede estar plana y siempre decimos, vaya, te vas recto para arriba, no pares y no hay arriba. You know. Y yeah. Le, Yeah, when I, when I was in, in Costa Rica, um, they like, when they give, gave us the direction, mm -hmm. they are like uh, 200 meters away and then you need to to go to the, the corner and then two meters and then you will find the, yeah. the thing. But we, we were we were like, confused because here in El Salvador you like two how do you say cuadras? Blocks. Two blocks away and then you you need to go uh, say on the on the left and yeah, yeah it, it's it's okay, for a Salvadorian to No or, or in El Salvador in El Salvador we say excuse me where's the hospital? Oh enfrente de la tienda. Okay good where's the store? <laughs> You know, or like, no, but let, let me give you one, one very good example que lo decimos muy mal. Te vas recto y cruzas a la derecha. Right? That's impossible. You cannot cruzar a la derecha. Cruz is this. Right? So, solo se puede cruzar de norte a sur y este a oeste. You know, like the cross. But the people understand. <laughs> yeah, people, we understand. Salvadoreños, we understand. Uh, But the, the problem is, point. the problem is, if you say this in English, yeah, that, where's the store? Really yeah, you go straight and, and you cross right. They will say, what? Cross right? That's not possible. So you don't cross, you turn. Mm -hmm. You turn, yeah. yeah, so you turn around, you turn left, or you turn right. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. So, uh -huh. técnicamente en español sería, te vas recto y giras a la derecha. Pero no cruzas. But we understand. Yeah. <laughs> But if you, if, if you do this in English and you say, oh, you go straight two blocks and you cross right, I even, what? You cross right, you can't. Yeah, I'm sorry, you turn right. The, so, the gringo has the problem, teacher, in, in all regions. Guatemala, <laughs> Nicaragua, Honduras, here. <laughs> yeah, so turn, turn también puede ser para dar direcciones, okay, look. Um, hi, excuse me, where, imagine you're in an office, Where is the bathroom? Oh, you go straight two doors and turn left. You go straight five doors and turn right. Okay, or like, oh, hey, where is where is the um, where is the supermarket? Oh, okay, you go here, you go straight turn left and you know you want to see under the directions but so you can actually say turn right turn around and turn left try ahead hmm? try ahead try ahead yeah Can straight ahead uh, yeah try straight ahead, ahead. Uh -huh. okay next we have break down Right. What is breakdown? This is sorry I'm late. The car broke down. That was your mm -hmm. Leah, you, you asked me, you asked me like 10 minutes ago when your car is broken. Break out is finally. Break out is finally. Breakdown. Breakdown. Um, breakdown is uh Uh, yes, break, break. Uh -huh. But this is like we, uh, I, I don't know, for couples or for, uh, we can use for that or no or not. <laughs> yeah, good. I was gonna break down. Mm, I, I, I was gonna tell you that. Um, 
Camila, I'm sorry, do you have a boyfriend? Or are you married? <laughs> I don't have a boyfriend and I'm not married. Oh, okay. Gabriela, do you have a boyfriend? I'm married. I'm sorry? I'm married. You're married? Oh, yes. cool. Gabriela, it's raining in your house? Yes. Where do you live? In Apopa. Oh, okay. I hope it rains here because it's very hot in my house. Yes, here is very hot. Okay, Gabriela, imagine, imagine you divorce your your husband. Yes. Because your husband has another partner. Yes? Chase bad t-shirt. No, no. I, I, I'm going to explain what breakdown is. In this case, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Imagine, it, because it happens. It happens to a man and to men and women. So in the in that beginning, you try to be strong. Like, no, it's okay. I have to be strong. I have to be strong. But it comes to a point that you're alone, and you break down. Right now. You and know, I you, start to cry. You start to cry like crazy. It's just breakdown. And broke things. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, that's breakdown. And after, and after seeing, baby, come back. Yeah, baby, come back. I love you. But not me. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you start listening to Adele and, and oh, yeah. <laughs> It's like it's like men. This happened to men. Like, oh yeah, I, I'm not with my girlfriend anymore. I don't like her. Yeah, yeah, ni la quiero. And then, and then you start drinking and you start listening to Marco Antonio Solis and like, oh. <laughs> and, and you start breaking down. So that's another expression, like broke down. Excuse me, teacher. What's the what's the meaning of the expression? I screwed up. I screwed up. <laughs> yeah. Is a bad expression or? No, it's o sea, actually. Como la regaste, ¿no? La regaste, papá. You screwed up. And them right. Hmm? Them right. Claro que sí. Damn right. Yeah, so. Uh, because you screwed up, you broke down <laughs> and cried. But I'm, uh, this is an example, okay, Gabriela? Y, y la razón que le dije ese ejemplo es porque en situaciones así es when people break down. You know, yes, you try, I... Yeah, you try to be strong and then, and then suddenly, <laughs> boom, you broke down. It's like, oh, I broke down like two days ago. I was watching a video. I was watching a video on, on, on Facebook. And it was... I don't know, I just watched it and I broke down. I started crying because it was an uncle. I think it was an uncle or the father. He was recording a little boy. The little boy maybe was four or five years old. And it's, it's a true video. And um, and, the son, and the little boy was looking at, at the sky and he was looking at a star. And he says, Mira, ahí está mi mami, hola mami, at the star. And, and the person that was recording him, he says, ¿Y por qué es a tu mami? ¿Por qué es la que brilla más? And this little boy, of obviously his mother died. And somebody told him that that's his mother, that, that star. And he believed it. And he was very happy looking at the, at, at the sky, at the star. And the person that was recording him, he broke down, he started crying. So when I watched that video, I broke down too. <laughs> yeah. Si alguien no llora ahí no tiene alma, man. All right. Hi. Yeah, it, it's in Facebook, I can pass it to you if you want. <laughs> Hi, I would like to say something. Sure, with Fredo. I think it is too difficult sometimes to understand the meanings because, for example, you talk about breakdown, it has uh, many meanings. 
for example, start crying or, or end negotiations, um, for example, and so on. And yes. sometimes for, for us, it's too difficult to understand. That's why we have to, well, I, I try to do my best, but the way that I do is, for example, to learn in sentence. I think it's, it's better, and, but sometimes not always. Yes, but, you know, that's good. That's good. That Remember, um, yeah, that's good. Phrasal verbs, there are some things that not even in, like, you cannot translate, like in Spanish. Let me give you an example. Um, Dios Santo. Dios Santo, a César lo que es de César. Así es, ¿verdad? A César lo que es de César. Son dichos propios del idioma, but you can't say that in English. Hay otra forma de decirlo en inglés, but not, not, there's not a grammatically way of saying it. So yes, Wilfredo, when you learn something, por ejemplo, ahorita, break down, yeah, puede ser llorar, puede ser romper, pero si lo asocias es algo negativo. It's something bad, it's, some, it's not something good. Y, y como lo que hicimos hoy, lo hacemos en cualquier situación, por eso di el ejemplo de... Okay, corté con mi novia y, y ya no aguanté, man, y empecé a chillar, I broke down. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you know where people break down too in church. Have you ever seen people in church when they break down, like, and they start crying? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I saw, I saw some people. When my mother died, my mother died four years ago, maybe. I didn't cry. Uh, I remember I didn't cry, and. I was shocked. It was, it's a long story, but I was with my mother in the hospital. I was with her two hours when she was dead in the morgue in the hospital. And I was looking at my dead mother and I was in shock. And when they buried her in the funeral, I, I didn't cry. And people, my wife asked me, are you okay? I'm like, yes. But no, something inside of me, I was not okay. I needed, I needed to cry. I really needed to cry, but I couldn't. So one day I went to the supermarket. I bought a bottle of tequila. I told my wife, look, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to listen to Juan Gabriel, okay? Because my mother loved Juan Gabriel. And um, I was starting, I remember I used to drink tequila with my mother and uh, I was a little happy. And suddenly, boom, I broke down and I started crying like crazy. I broke down in that moment and I really needed that. Okay. So do, did you, did you understand my expression of breakdown? Yes, I understand. Yes. Okay. Also, hey, man, if you don't fix your car, it's going to break down. You need to fix that part. You need to change that part. Okay. Next, we have a lookout. What is lookout? Like when Be you're careful. driving. Mm -hmm. Come on. Hey, look out. Like a dog. You need to look out. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. You know, when you're doing something, ah, hey, look out. Ah, okay. Is look the out. same that, is the same, be careful. Be careful. It's the same. Yes, but actually be careful. Puede ser hasta anticipado. Hey, ya me voy. Okay, be careful. But look out is immediately. Like when you see, when you, when you see the accident is going to happen. Como, hey, move, look out. Oh man, hey, gracias. Or you know, like somebody's walking and there's water. Hey, look out. Oh, thank you, there's water. Okay. Yeah, so look out is be careful, but immediately, immediate reaction. 
Mm -hmm. The same, watch out, bitch. Yeah, the same thing, watch out, watch out. Next we have take off. But take off. Yeah, yeah, this is pegada, but um, like take off, take off your sh your shirt or something like that. I yeah, actually, actually take, take off, off your shoes. Yeah, take off your clothes. Yeah. Take off but your glasses. It's something like, you take off. You see that? Take? In, the, in that that page says despegar. Yes. For me, it's not the very, the best example <laughs> because, yeah, sí es despegar, pero really take off se usa más para quitar. Take it off, take it off, take it off. Yeah, like, like, um, I hate, I'm sorry if you love cats, but I hate cats. Does somebody here like cats? No. No. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I don't I like cats, three. really. You have three cats? Yeah. Yes. Well, I, I, no, the reason I don't like cats is because I am extremely, extremely allergic to them. But like, really, man, I look like a boxing fight if, if, if my eyes get like this and I look Chinese. If if I touch a cat, so um, you know, my friends siempre me tiraban al gato. Like, no, 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 don't no, take it off, take it off, take it off, take off the cat. Quítemelo. Yes, um, that that's when you use expressions. Take off is really quitar. All right. What are things that you take off? Your clothes? I think it was only for, uh, for, for clothes or, or when you flying. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Next we have. Esto is get by a bañárselas. Esto creo que es de español de España. Get by, run away, keep on with. Okay. Um, can you, let's do one thing. Do you see my chat? Do you see the chat I sent you? Well, in, in yes, I see yes, that yes. Or? All right, the first one you see is call off, right? Call off to console. Yeah, these are actually like verbs that, um. Oh yeah, oh, these are like the most popular verbs. Okay, look, call off is you cancel something. What are things that you cancel? A meeting. Date. You cancel a meeting? Date. Okay, what? Well, let me give you an example. Uh, this is con Wilfredo. La mejor forma aquí de, de, de hablar inglés es imaginándose situaciones, all right? Sofía, yes. Sofía Escobar, do you have a boyfriend? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, imagine he's not your boyfriend. Imagine he is your fiancé. My fiancé. So you're going to get married in December. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Imagine. So in this moment, imagine you're going to get married in two months. So everything is planned. The hotel, uh, the food, the music, correct? Yeah. So because this is imagination, it's a very big wedding, okay? You have everything planned. 
Got Pero it. Sofia, what happened? Why did you call off the wedding? Because Sofia, you're going to get, that's why I need, I need your imagination here, Sofia. Okay. Because you invited me, you invited me to your wedding in December and, and everything. Yeah. And now, mm -hmm. and now you're telling me that you called off the wedding. Why? What happened? Because I'm not ready to get married. That's why you called off the wedding? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Okay, okay, that's good. I imagine something worse, like, oh, because I saw my fiance with my best friend. <laughs> oh, I, oh, okay, good. So you, no, but I, I hint que lo hace también a última hora, yeah. I'm not ready, so you call off the wedding. Okay, good. In situations like that, right? Leah, why did you call off the meeting? Sorry? Why did you call off the meeting? Call off the meeting. Uh, call off the meeting. I don't understand, no. sir. Okay, you had a meeting. Uh -huh. Why did you call off the meeting? Okay, uh, for working, for the many people working, uh, many items. I am, it's okay? No. No, remember, call off is cancel. Call off is a... Uh, it's cancel, an event. Cancel, cancel events, okay? Yeah, cancel an activity, you cancel an event. For example, okay. Sofia canceled her wedding because she's not ready. I cancel a meeting. Yes, and why did you cancel the meeting? Why, because the people not coming, maybe? Okay, good, because the people were not coming. All right, very good. Okay, so that is what, when, when we use, um, that is when we use call off, is when you cancel. Let me see here, Samuel, are you there? Yes. Yes, I'm here. All right, Samuel, if you see the next one. Well, let me look at my chat here. We have here a call off, that's good. Calm down. What is calm down? Relax, man, calm down. Okay. No, do, do you see my expression in the chat? Primero fue call off, right? Now we have calm down. Calm down, relax after being angry. Yes. Okay, next we have, that's easy, right? Calm down is relax. Eso si no hay mucha ciencia. Hey, you need to calm down. Oi, hagamos catch up. What is catch up? Catch up. Catch up. Yeah, no, it's catch up. It's catch up. Catch up. Catch to, up. to be, o sea, to reconectarse, no sé. Okay, to that's one. with another people. Okay, look, imagine. Like keeping in touch. Yes, or imagine you have to make, you have to make everybody today, you have to make 20 pupusas each. Camila lleva 10, but Jasmine lleva dos. Hey, come on, Jasmine, you need to catch up. Do you understand? Porque lleva dos, come on, todos llevamos ya diez, man, y tú lleva dos. You need to catch up. Catch up es ponerse al tanto, ponerse al día. It's like a date. Up to date, yes. Uh-huh. Híjole, me han dado cinco reportes que hacer y apenas llevo uno. Uno, man. Yo ya hice los cinco. You need to catch up. Esa es una expresión. O la otra es, hey, tenemos tiempo de no vernos. Long time. Let's drink coffee one day and catch up. Eh, 
Yes, tomemos café un día y nos ponemos al día. <laughs> okay, um, listen, we'll continue this tomorrow. Vean, vean uno, sigan viendo estos verbos que les mandé. Los phrasal verbs. Y mañana hacemos el otro tema, ok? Pero recuerden siempre los phrasal verbs. Sí, son un poco complicados. Sí, nunca los van a entender todos. No, no, no entender. Nunca van a saber todos los phrasal verbs que existen porque siempre se van a, a seguir inventando nuevos. Igual a los verbos que son infinitos. Y así, así son los idiomas. Bueno, hasta hace 10 diez, hace diez años Google no era verbo, hoy ya es verbo. WhatsApp no era verbo, hoy ya es verbo. Entonces los verbos siempre se van a ir haciendo. O sea, no se preocupen de que si ustedes ven, ay, oh my God, hay 20 mil verbos. No. No se preocupen, mejor entiendan el contexto. ¿Qué significan esos verbos? O sea, ¿Qué significa que es un phrasal verb? Que, y ahí... Ya, ya tienen la idea. Ah, es que cuando es un verbo en una preposición, significa otra cosa. Y ahí sí podrían buscar el significado. Por ejemplo, de estoy en adelante, si un día ven... Si un día ven, give up. Hmm. Give es dar, up, arriba, dar, arriba. Ah, no, pero como están juntos, no, entonces eso tiene que significarse algo. Y ahí pueden hacer en el Google, ah, give up es rendirse o dar por vencido, dejar algo. Ah, ok, entonces, I need to give up smoking. I need to give up sugar. I need to give up, ajá, el azúcar. I need to give up sugar. Ok. Ok, entonces, uh, I'll see you tomorrow, ok. Hoy se está lloviendo fuerte acá. A Popa nos mandó el agua. Okay, then um, I'll see you tomorrow. You have a great day. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Uh, great day. Uh, see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.